Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Freedom Tech Century and today I'm going to show you how to install Magic Lantern on the EOS 600D or also known as T3i. So Magic Lantern is a firmware add-on that goes on top of your already existing Canon uh, firmware. And this will allow you to have more control over the picture, especially in the video mode, as well as also over the audio, even though that's kind of limited to the 60D and T2i. But besides that, I'm just going to show you the whole process, how to install it on your camera without breaking it. So let's get started after the intro. So here we are back and I decided to split this video in four chapters. First off, we're going to talk about downgrading the Canon firmware. Second up, we're going to talk about saving the SD card data. Third, formatting the SD card and then fourth, downloading and installing Magic Lantern. So if you want to just feel free to skip to any of those parts and we'll get started with the number one, which is downgrading the Canon firmware. So I didn't do this at first and this can result in a completely frozen camera that doesn't do anything anymore. So first off, you really have to check your firmware version. If you have 1.0.2, Magic Lantern isn't going to work. The installation will just completely fail, your camera will freeze and you will be scared that your camera is broke and the only solution is to take the battery out of the camera. So if you have 1.0.2, then you really have to download the um, earlier firmware and then downgrade it. So here's the website I downloaded it from. I'll definitely leave a link to that in the description below. Just um, open the folder where the file is in and then just drag it into the top directory of the SD card. So right there is the DCIM folder. Eject your SD card, put it the SD card back into your camera and then you just go back to the menu where you can actually then see the firmware version. Always make sure to be in the menu mode, this is really important. If you see the firmware just click OK and then it will look for different firmware and it will find the new one which is actually an older firmware but it still works nonetheless. And it's just really important because otherwise Magic Lantern won't work and I was really afraid that my camera was broke. So here we just select the earlier version and then it will just immediately start to install. This takes some time and so I sped it up by 800% so you see it does progress but it does take some time. So that's definitely something you want to make sure to um, have a little bit of patience. I think it took a couple of minutes but I just want to speed it up right here for you guys. So now the firmware is updated and you now have 1.0.1 which is necessary so that you can install Magic Lantern without this, this just won't work at all. If your camera is stuck with the installation, then just take out the battery, that's the only solution. Turning it on and off won't help. So here we are at step 2 and that's saving your SD card data and that's pretty much just an advice, not really a step. We have to format the SD card in the camera later on and everything will be deleted, so you just want to make sure that you save all your photos to your machine and that there's nothing on there that you will miss and that you'll uh, be desperate about. So just make sure that you have all those files saved um, to your machine and then you're good to go. And then we can continue with step three. All right, so here we are at step three and this is formatting the SD card. So you can't do this in your Mac or in your PC. Well, you can, but it won't work. So you really have to do this in your camera. Just put in the SD card as usual and then boot up the camera and then you're good to go. Then you can just go to the menu to format the SD card and there's one thing that you really have to um, keep an eye on and that's to make a low level uh, format. I have no idea why but uh, in the instructions it said you really have to do the low level format and in this case you have to um, push the trash can in order to enable this and then just press OK and it says again all data will be lost so be careful that you don't delete anything that was important to you. So now we've formatted the card, but we aren't quite done yet. We also have to delete all the settings in the camera. And then just go to clear settings and then clear all camera settings. And then you're good to go. And this is pretty much it. And this is pretty simple, but you just have to make sure to follow this. And this is also in the instructions of Magic Lantern. I honestly don't know why you really have to do it, but they say you really do have to do it in order to make Magic Lantern work. So we'll just uh, do it. So after all the preparation, we finally get to step four, which is downloading and installing Magic Lantern. 
And this step is fairly simple if you did everything that we just went through. And so this should work without any issues. So just have to download the latest firmware from their website. And I'll also provide the link in the description down below. The file is fairly small, so the download is going pretty quickly. And if you have downloaded the file, then just go to show it in the finder where you have to download. And then you'll see that this is a zip file. So you just have to unpack it and then see that there's just a regular folder that we get. And then you just have to go into the folder with double clicking it. And I think there we will see it now in a second. So yes, there's the folder, double click it to get into the folder. And then you just have to make sure to select all the files. So press command A to select all the files and then just command and copy in order to copy the files. Then you just have to go back to your SD card and press command and paste. So command and V to paste all the files. And this has to be in the top directory. Same as with the Canon firmware. And there you see it, it has to just be in the same place as the DSTM folder. Then just safely eject your SD card and then we're good to go back to the camera. So now we have put the SD card back into the camera. Always make sure to be in manual mode, otherwise this won't work. So now we do the same as with the Canon firmware. We go to the firmware settings and then OK to update the firmware. And then you'll see this just regular firmware update program. And then you'll see green screen in a second. And this will tell you that the Magic Lantern installation was successful. So this is where we want to go. And now it's successful. Now this will be booting up every time from the SD card. So if you have another SD card, it won't boot up. So, but basically that's pretty much it. So now you can turn off the camera and just reboot it. And then you'll have Magic Lantern on your 600D. How do you see that? Well, to get the extra kind of menu that Magic Lantern provides you, you just have to press the trash can. So we go to the movie mode and then we already see that the audio meters on top aren't the stock ones that you usually get on the 600D with the Canon firmware. But then you can just go to the trash can and then you'll see the whole menu that uh, gives you all the options with Magic Lantern. There's a lot of stuff to choose from and just a lot of help like Zebras for uh, focusing help, overexposure help and all that stuff. Just the audio meters on top of the screen. And so a lot of great features and those aren't even all the options that you have right there. You can also go to an advanced mode. So it's crazy all the features that you get with it. There's even HDR video. So it's completely insane. And this really wraps up the video. So I think if you follow all the steps, you shouldn't have any issues with installing Magic Lantern. Just learn from my mistakes. Always have the right firmware on. Otherwise, it won't work at all. And then you can just take out the battery. But otherwise, it works perfectly. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button above. Let me know if you've used Magic Lantern before or if you'll install it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.